Hey yo, what's up? Marjorie here and welcome to another episode of Queen's Side Check. This is now episode 10 and today we are actually starting in on a new group to this channel. We are finally checking out Rocket Punch. Uh, this is my first time reacting to them and yeah, but even before Queendom Puzzle, Rocket Punch has actually been on my list of uh, groups to potentially check out. I've just never uh, really gotten around to checking them out. So why not now that we're doing a series based on uh, groups that have uh, interested us while watching Queendom Puzzle. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's go right on ahead and see what Rocket Punch has in store for us. We're going to be checking out their debut single entitled Bim Bam Boom. And yeah, uh, here we go, I guess. William Entertainment. Oh, interesting. Ooh. Nice. Oh. Okay. Cool. Forward. So you're starting us off. This re This is quite groovy. Ooh, I like the vibe. Mm. Oh, that instrumental. It's very mentally ticklish. Ooh, speeding up a little bit. You have a little bit more bounce to it right now. Is that a leopard? Oh. Is this a chorus? It feels it feels like a slightly different song. It's, it's like we got a whole different chorus. This was the first chorus that we got, right? Same as uh, uh, like after the first verse. I really love the bounce of the lyrics and the instrumental. And then this part. I wonder who's doing the ad libs. The leopard is coming in again. <laughs> okay. 
So that was Bim Bam Boom by Rocket Punch. And really, really interesting song. I think we got two different kinds of choruses there. And that's, of course, it's those two parts have a different kind of designation. But uh, yeah, the, the first chorus I think we got was the bim bam boom and then instrumentals and then uh, repeating bim bam boom. And then that second chorus is the, the one with the ice cream and uh, the sarangay 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 feeling. And yeah, that I gotta say, that was a nice uh, change of pace over there. So the first part with the first chorus that that felt like just very groovy to me, very vibey. And then once we get we got into the second verse, I noticed things start started to bounce a little bit more uh and then we got that bouncy second chorus as well and then we got a mix of it uh, like we had the bridge and then we got a mix of it towards the end and yeah i really like it I, right now I'm wondering what that song would sound like if you did it at like maybe times 1.1 or times 1.2 speed. I think it would sound too generic that way. This one, it, it takes its time with the pace. And that way you get to savor the notes a little bit more. So yeah, uh, very intriguing song structure here. And yeah, it's so nice to see Yonhi, Juri, Juri and Suyun again. And uh, I haven't quite memorized yet the, the other three uh, members. Uh, I can't quite put the faces to the name, uh, the names to the faces just yet. But I know it's like Yun Kyung, Sohee, and Dayan, right? So hopefully we'll get to know them a little bit more as we move forward. I'm gonna try to memorize them more uh, by their pictures and K profiles, but like sometimes it's difficult to tell them apart, uh, uh, to identify them according to their K profiles pictures. Uh, cause those are taken from, I think the K profiles pictures would be taken from like the, whatever's the latest MV or latest era. And it's a different thing when you're watching an MV versus looking at pictures. It's your brain, uh, kind of makes it feel different, uh, when there's the dynamics of movement involved. But yeah. Uh, looking forward to more of Rocket Punch moving, uh, going forward. I gotta say though, uh, most probably my bias, I know I don't usually pick a bias right away, but you know, Jury has always been a favorite of mine ever since Produce 48. Like, even when I was checking out Produce 48 and I already knew who Eyes One were, like, I, you can't help but keep on rooting for Jury. Like, I really like her personality a lot, and uh, not just Pro not just in Produce 48, but when she was also in. Uh, Girls Reverse earlier this year, and then more recently in, on Queendom Puzzle. She just has this uh, this bright, positive energy that's just quite infectious. And uh, 
yeah, you can't help but root for her. Like, I was rooting for her back in Plutus 48, even though I knew she wouldn't be in the final group. I was rooting for her and on Girls Reverse, even though there are already indications that she also probably wouldn't make the final group. And then here on Queendom Puzzle, well, Queendom Puzzle, there were so there are so many talented artists involved uh, that it's quite tough uh, to make it to the final group. But you know, Yonhi made it to the final group in uh, Queendom Puzzle, and uh, yeah, she's now a part of Elzop, and that's great as well. So I'm looking forward to checking out. Uh, Elzop's uh, MV that they released just recently. Uh, I know it released like uh, last week as of this recording. Uh, but this is slated to... Well, I already have it scheduled on my content schedule uh, for my YouTube channel. So uh, stay tuned for the Elzop reaction. So uh, that will be coming probably a couple of days after you see this one on YouTube. Is that right? When am I releasing this on YouTube? 25th? My LZAP reaction uh, will probably be out on the 27th. So yeah. Uh, I think that's it for my reaction to Bim Bam Boom by Rocket Punch. A really interesting song. Not quite sure where I'm going to be placing it though. Probably on my Vibe playlist. But uh, we'll see. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, we'll stay tuned for more to come from Rocket Punch. But until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my Patreon where. Uh, I also post longer form content, more casual content, most of which is available for free. Uh, you can probably see the titles pop up here on the side. So, uh, and there are also just some bonus perks set aside for those who are kind enough to subscribe, such as access to my K-drama and anime reactions, uh, which incidentally you can also check out for free for 7 days, as that is tier 1 of my Patreon and tier 1 has a 7 day free trial. So. You might want to try that out. And uh, higher tiers of my Patreon also get early access to raw recordings of my reaction videos and priority when it comes to recommendations. Uh, but don't get too fussed about that. All that, like I said, most of the stuff on my Patreon is available for free. So don't be afraid to check it out. The link to my Patreon is in the description down below, as well as a link to a spreadsheet where you can more easily navigate and access the free content on my Patreon, so you might want to check that out first. That's also in the description down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on this groovy and exciting journey with Rocket Punch. Until next time, have a great day everyone, and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.